Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to what is going to be the third review of the night. As you can see, hold up one second, for some reason my controller's on the floor. I've got this cheeky little geezer lurking in the bottom right back position. It is Takahiro Tomiyasu, Arsenal's finest, brand new signing in the summer transfer window. I love him. When Arsenal found myself, I got a soft spot for the man. And he was actually previously leaked as a play, uh, SBC player pick. You had the choice of the centre-back or the right-back, but he ends up being part of this mini-release, so he will get a centre-back version released. I'm not sure when. Maybe next Sunday with another mini-release. I don't know the exact details. But either way, the right-back is what we are trying out in this video. 6 foot 2 medium-high, 3-star, 5-star, happy days. 155k. 154k, my bad. A little bit expensive for a right back. Let's see if he justifies the price tag. Heading over to the attributes, 89 pace, happy days. He, right, scarily. I was chatting on stream earlier about people using fullbacks at centre back. If this man was out last year, you would see this man at centre back all damn day. All weekend league, all division rival grind, this man will be kicking it at the back in that centre back position. We could try him out as a right back for now. But looking at the stats, man, he is so suited as that centre half. Six for two, medium high, fantastic work rates for a uh, defender. Passing looks great. Short pass, long pass, happy days. Dribbling's really, really solid. Six for two, he's got a bit of height about himself with 85 agility, 85 balance, happy days. Defensively, mid 80s to uh, pretty much high 80s apart from the head and accuracy. Physically, stamina, tick, strength, aggression, jumping. He looks like a beast. Probably a shadow or an anchor. I think I'm going to go for a shadow chem style on this man, to be fair. Max Ash, you know, you know what? We'll be sensible. I'm pretty certain Anchor was the highest voted on, um, on the old footbin. So we'll stick an Anchor on him. we got five. Fantastic, lads. We get a nice little a plus five to the pace there. Yeah, that strength gets almost maxed out. Same with the aggression. And defensively, we get a nice little boost. He looks like a beast, the boys. All right, the rest of the lads we're using, we got Ferdinand, Rambo Ramsdale, the Arsenal connections, Upa Meccano, Davies, Fakir, Benzi Boy, Jorginho, Cruyff. 88 Chalaba, all right? First time really using him. I've tried him out in uh, the previous two play reviews I've done tonight. He seems damn solid. Some unreal tackles this man was making. And Chua Many. Soon to be future stars, Chua Many. And for this play review, lads, we're not messing about and we're diving straight into some division rivals. In Div 2, I'm chaining wins. I'm getting streaks. I need to get into the elite division before Thursday. Wish me luck, lads. We're going to need a serious on-stream grind to get that, by the way. If you want, follow me on Twitch. Make sure to click the link down below. A little shameless plug. We have recently hit affiliate as well over there, boys. So all you legends from Twitch, I really do appreciate the support. But come on now, Takahiro. Please be a certified baller. So, lads, all right, I say this pretty much every Future Stars video. It's my favorite promo. And it just keeps getting better and better, boys. We tried out Calvert-Lewin. He was so much fun to use. Ridiculously good in the air from crosses. Scored every single header he got, essentially. That Almas lad, the Napoli boy, five-star skills CDM. Also a fantastic card. Now Takahiro Tomiyasu. I'm in Dreamland as an Arsenal fan. All right, that pass from Jorginho is decent, is it? And then, of course, there is Ferran Torres, the Barcelona boy. 92 overall striker, man. He looks insane, by the way. Um, I definitely will have to pick him up, potentially. Depending on how expensive he is, I can imagine being pretty damn pricey. My free kicks are shocking in this game, boys. Any, any, any of you boys like struggle to score free kicks? I think I scored like six this whole year. That's it. Good tackle, Jorginho. Obviously, medium high on a fullback. I'm not used to it. I normally use a uh, little uh, high, high attacking work rate fullbacks like Davies, Tierney, uh, uh, Dest, for example. To so, tackle hero is a nice little change to me. Feels good on the ball, all right? Agility, the balance is noticeable. Dribbling stats feel decent. Not as good as Dest or Davies, for example, but he should be able to be a, a pretty reliable beat in a man, for example. He's overlapping. No, he's not. The medium high work rates, he's like, no. Unless you're telling me to do it, I'm not going to do it, lads. That's a lovely bit of play. Fakia should have been 1-0 to the boys. Takahiro making waves over there. He's lurking in the middle as well. Right here in front of Gwendozi. Let's try and pick him out, lads. Oh, I mean, tell you what, that's one way to introduce yourself on a Davies, boys. Imagine if he bagged that. Little dink. Oh, it's a decent ball in, but no one's lurking. It's where we need Calvert Lewin on the end of it, lads. Let's go again. It's a fantastic ball, but once again, no Calvert Lewin, no fun. All right, so he's been bombing at the pitch a minute ago. The high work rate is back again, and he's ready to go. I'm going to try and utilize his attacking attributes as much as I can, as well as the defending attributes, boys. Tomiyasu! I thought that was going to be it, lads. The debut goal of dreams. Oh, one thing we didn't really touch on in, in the little brief to this video uh, was his shooting stats. They're basically not there, lads. All right, he's not going to be very consistent in front of goal. The shot power, 
maybe may help you bag one or two if it comes to it, but realistically, he's more of a, a defensive fullback, which is fine by me. But imagine it, mate. Naming lights 20 minutes into the game and he gets a debut goal on a real scenes. Come on, Benz. Turns and turns and face, mate. You've got a lot of space here. Cruyff. Little roulette if we can across the keeper. And there is 1 0 to the boys. It's the man Johan coming in clutch, lads. We need to be ruthless. Fearless in front of goal. Nothing but W's is the motto for this evening. And we're looking good so far. I'm not going to lie, part of me is somewhat disappointed that he's not an SBC. I would have liked to have had him untradeable in my club. I can't imagine how cheap he's going to go to on the market. It's a little bit expensive at the moment for a fullback. I think there's a lot of hype there for the card. And obviously, if you could play this man as a centre-back, uh, it makes sense, boys. Bombing forward, though. He's doing a lot for me right now, lads. So at half-time, 1-0 up, looking pretty. Tomiyasu bombing up and down the pitch. It's Damless taking a little hit, mainly because I'm pretty much getting the ball to him every second I can. But going forward, he's looking pretty damn decent. The dribbling stats, there's no issues there. The link-up play, the passing stats are really nice. He had that one chance to find the back of the net. Though. Fortunately, he fluffed it, but it's fine. Let's try and utilise the defensive attributes a little bit more. My opponent's an interesting player. He doesn't like bombing down the wing. He likes keeping it back. Chipping balls over the top with uh, Jao Cancelo. But we'll see what we can do. Oh, boys. What a cheeky pass that was from Fakia. Benzi boy bags it. That is the link-up play that I love from those two. Eventually, though, I need to mix my team up. I'm not going to lie. I've used Fakia for like 600 matches. It's about time to spice it up, boys. Let me know any recommendations down below. Who should I get in? Who do you reckon? I mean, I want a big hitter icon to go alongside Cruyff. That'd be a fantastic duo. Um, we're looking good with these boys. I mean, Cruyff. Cruyff. He said it over. I tried to be cheeky. Good Chalibur involved. He feels pretty damn good on the ball as well. Lovely bit of play. Fakia. Oh, lads, what a goal that is. Super damn sweaty, but the link up was fantastic. And Jorginho makes it free. We are sitting pretty, boys. All we need to do to be a successful debut for Tommy is keep that clean sheet. All right, no messing about at the back, lads. Lovely from Tommy Asu. Cancelo, no chance, lad. All right, we've got a good four in game minutes left here. Can we make this happen? Five star week fit for the boy. Tommy! Oh. Go scored again. Go on. Battle, lads. Get it to the man. Get it to the man. Little ball roll. Little left foot finesse shot. Green times. It's not meant to be, boys. <laughs> oh. So, so close to getting a debut goal. But overall, a fantastic performance from Tommy Yasu and the boys. A big 3 0 W, 16 attempts. Tommy came close, he had about three in the box to find that debut goal, but it wasn't meant to be. There may be a little bit of Arsenal bias in me saying this, but having a five star weak foot right back is really, really nice. The passing stats, especially with passing stats like these right foot, left foot, he's able to ping balls, long distance passes, short passes. He's just a really well-rounded, reliable fullback, which is great. The medium-high work rate, if you don't want him on the forward, he's not going to do that for you, especially if I'm stay back while attacking in the custom tactics. If you do want to trigger the runs forward, though, he's pretty damn good. Dripping stats, the pace, he feels good to get in behind, whip it in. The only issue is the finishing is going to let you down, lads, as you would have seen by that game. But overall, a really enjoyable experience with Tomiyasu. Price-wise, it's hard to really judge. I haven't had a proper deep dive into right backs in the Premier League before. I know we've got the likes of Semedo, uh, Trent Azad uh, Arnold definitely has a card or two, doesn't he? Who's in the concept sense? Jao Cancelo, obviously, is a bit of a no-brainer. Carl Walker, probably a bit more on the meta side of things. Uh, but looking at this card, I'd honestly recommend Tommy Asu over him. But it'd be a nice price comparison. I can imagine Tommy dropping to about the price that Kyle Walker is realistically. Uh, but there's not too many options. Unless you're rocking a Trent or a Cancelo or a Walker... Tommy Asu's the way to go, lads. I mean, actually, yeah, Sam Samedo's actually a right wing back, isn't he? Let's not get it twisted. Oh, he is. There's quite a few over here. We've got Aspilicueta, Reese James. There's a few fullbacks there, but probably the most defensively reliable, I would say, Tommy Asu. And also, lads, if you use him as, as a centre back, let me know down below how good he is. I'm kind of tempted. You know, I'm thinking about maybe putting a Tommy Asu over here. 
bringing on a bit of Tierney as well. And, you know, just getting a bit funky with it. But let me know down below, lads. I've been Morsi. I hope you did enjoy. I'll be back tomorrow probably with a stream over on Twitch or content reviews, depending on what gets dropped by FIFA. So until then, take it easy. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'll catch you very soon.